So we're literally about 30 minutes we spent um, leaving the fern pools and that to get here. This is our first free camp. And have a look at the view, mate. There's huge mountains in the background. One over there. And we got all this to ourselves. Except one little tent over there. Oh yeah, this is like Mount Bruce camp or something on wiki and yeah once again we're blessed with another cracking little free camp mount bruce rest area mm. yeah well there you go plenty of room around when you first come off the main road there's a few campsites over there and as you follow the road around it um there's more and more tucked away in the in the shrubs or in the scrub. Hey, a little fire pit. Got some utensils there. Hey? Eh? Let us know if you forgot your knife and fork. Hey, eh, good little spot. Hopefully it doesn't get too busy in here. Mate, the bloody flies are friendly around here. Got to start putting my finger over my beer. Keep them out. Or even this little trick. And turn that around. Stops them actually falling in. Whew. It doesn't like when the flies are so tiny that they just crawl straight in. There. Yeah, it stops half of them getting in though. Alright. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy my beer. Today, we're going to go up to have a look at another couple of gorges. And yeah, we just spent last night at this wicked little free camp. Absolutely beautiful. And it's got this bloody nice backdrop here. A couple of mountains in the distance. Look at this big fellow over here. Massive, mate. Oh yeah. Really enjoying our time in the Karajini like area so far. Put on a show for us. So yeah, I'm gonna check out another couple of gorges this morning. I thought I would go through what I do when I leave our van at a free camp and what I do, like extra measures I take to um, make it hard for people to not just rock up and take your van off you. So I'll run you around here. As you can see, put all the legs down. So all the legs go down onto the ground. You can imagine what it's like trying to drag a van with like four anchors down. And I put the awning out halfway, like that. Because no one wants to drive down the highway with an awning hanging out. Um, yeah, four legs down, awning. I leave the jockey wheel right down. And I chuck one of these little locks on. So this is a an alarm lock as well. So if it moves, gives you a little warning. Sort of tells you, hey, I make a bit of sound. Do you want to keep knocking that lock around? Oh yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Just a few precautions. Um, try and put people off steel in your van. I know if they want it, they're going to take it regardless of anything, mate. They'll just skull drag that thing up the road. But the opportunistic people that want to take it, at least they're put off a bit now. So where, which one are we going to today? Kermit's. Yeah, we know Gorge. Yeah, we know Gorge. So, obviously they're another pay station. So... We've got ours for five days, so we should be good. Oh yeah, it looks pretty crazy around here, eh? The scenery is like, we would spend, we spent like hours driving through flat country, and then all of a sudden all these hills just pop up in the Karajini area.
very scenic. You're enjoying your time so far here, eh? Yeah, really impressed. I was saying, like, out of all the national parks that we've done so far, this is already like top tip for me. Yeah. Just from like half a day yesterday, it just blew me away. I think it's just going to get better. I'm a little bit nervous though, like with the the water, you know, swimming across places and that with Sadie, like. Yeah. I don't know. We're just gonna go as far as we can. Yeah. Some of like what I've seen, like people do, looks pretty hectic. Um, you know, like, like scaling the rock walls and stuff with like kids strapped to them. Yeah, I think just it, if we don't feel safe doing it with her, we're not gonna do yeah. it. It's not worth the risk. But I think we'll still be able to um, enjoy it and see some cool stuff. Yeah. Even if we don't get like yesterday at um, Fern Pool. Yesterday at Fern Pool, you can swim, it's probably like 50 metres to the little waterfall. Yeah. And I was like, well, what if I get like halfway and I can't swim anymore? I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure I could have made it, but I wouldn't have felt comfortable trying to swim over there with Sadie because it's so deep. You can't touch the bottom, obviously. Yeah. So. And I dunked her, I did dunk her in the water with me, then she climbed up on top of my head. Oh, I was freezing. It was <laughs> yeah. freezing. So, but she's going to be, we're going to have a little floaty on today, so yeah. if something does happen, she'll have the extra safety of the floaty, which would have been a lot better yesterday, I think. Because yeah. I feel like we would have all swam yesterday if she had a floaty. Yeah. Because it does keep her a bit warmer as well, yeah. around the top bit. But yeah, we'll see. We'll, um, Go and check out what these gorges are all about. Yeah, because you, you see so much of it, but you still never really know what to expect, so. Yeah. Should be interesting. Road into Wino Gorge is shocking. It's so rough. It just um, went from Bitumen to Corrugated Road and it's like really bad. We've had to pull off like into the bushes so that we can, um, so Steve, I can let some air out of the tyres because we didn't do that before. And yeah, it's really bumpy and it's about, it's 13 k's of it, so. Really rough. What are you saying? Hey? What are you saying? This road's bloody hectic, mate. I didn't think I don't think I said that I gotta keep a PG for YouTube, but um Yeah the road's full on. Yeah. It's got about twelve K's from where you hit the dirt to the um, gorges I think so we'll let the air out and um, I've got to restrap the boat down because it moved a little bit but yeah also camp boss camp boss tire deflators still very undecided on these eh they're so like on and off you know like they don't I know there's more out on the market now like the ice I check or whatever it is, but let's see how these go. I'll do another little, another little review on them while I've got them out. Um, they're all set to 30 pound, so we'll see how they, we'll see how they perform, eh? But yeah, I've I've gone on and off these a couple of times now. I love them and I hate them. Sometimes they work really well. Sometimes they just don't work at all. Like the other day, um. I set it to 30 pound, it only knocked like, it only went down to 41, so. There you go. So that's just shut itself off. Let's check the, te let's check the uh, temperature. Let's check the pressure. 20. No, my bad, that's not. 29.5. So that, I'm happy, very happy with that one, that's good. 
29.5. So that one, that fellow there's performing really well. This one's just shut off. So I'll unscrew him. Twenty-eight. So happy again with that one. That one, that one's working fine. So you watch, because I'm filming it today, that will bloody work too. Oh yeah, those two are fine. They're doing exactly what they should. And it's not like I want to bloody slam the product or anything, but you know, when so when you buy something that's over a hundred bucks, just to let tires down, you want it to work properly. So this one's shut off now. Put it, hang on, I won't put it back in the bag yet. Cause I feel like one of them so. Um, all right. See, 37, 37 pound. So that one's not working properly. I think that's the one that kept it high the other day. One of them just didn't, didn't do the job. So I'll let, I'll let the air down with, we know one's set at 28 pound. I'll let the air down with that. This one, it looks like it's done its job too, but the sea is still hissing. So, it's only very slightly though. All right, I'll pull it back out and see if it, because it's still letting it down. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say this one hasn't done its job yet but it was just a very slight hiss coming out of it. Right, let's check this rear. Make sure it's on PSI. 27 pound. So I say that one's working fine. So, so far I've only found one troubled one. Although this one here, I had, I had to re-pull the valve, the little valve stem bit out. But yeah, I just want something that bloody works every time, mate. Every time. I don't want to be sitting here like moving them, shuffling them around. If you got four of them, one for each tire, you should be able just to go bang, 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 and tires go down. You know. Anyway. And um, the worst bit is I bloody I love the all for adventure guys too. Like I just. I'd love to support them more, but we'll see what this one comes back at. I might have to bloody invest in some in a different brand, eh? I really don't want any, but I might have to. Well, there you go. I chucked the um, deflator that did work back on the front tire, and it went down to 27 and a half pounds. So we know it works. I'm going to keep that troubled one out of there. I might have a look at him later. You can go on the door. My nerves have rattled, so is our car. That was the worst corrugation I've ever been on in my freaking life, mate. Levo's in a bad mood now. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna get out of my bad mood. But I just hate my car being rattled to pieces, like, so. Wasn't expecting that. No, nah, it's full on. So, pressure's down. I'm gonna knock another 10 pound out of these tires before we leave here. And um, yeah, everything rattled loose. The boat rattled loose, the bloody, Dashboard's got some squeak in it now. The motor came loose. Anyways, <clears throat> hopefully this gorge is um. What? Well, hey, hello. How was your drive? Good, thanks. Good, thanks. Well, yeah, hopefully these gorges are beautiful and they make up for this horrible drive in.
off, so I'm going to be here all day. You spend so much time looking down, watching where you're going. But you got to take a minute to walk up as well, because... Crazy, beautiful. Down in the gorge. Down in the gorge. Down in the gorge. No, go. Down oh, in the look gorge. up there. Look up there. Mm. Is this fun or is it scary? Oh, it's fun. Bit of fun? Yeah, I'm afraid Bit of a challenge holding the kid. Is that right? It's a bit nerve wracking holding Satan. Yeah. It's slippery. In and out of the handrail part of the gorge. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty surprised that we did that. I'm not going to lie to you. Was I was stressful. shitting bricks, mate. Yeah. With Sadie. Like holding her. And I know that if I fall, I've got 100 kilos of person going to probably fall down on her. So it was a bit nerve wracking. Um, and the bits where the water was flowing, super slippery. Yeah. Everything else was pretty good with these like reef shoes on. Definitely wear reef shoes. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, we made it in and out of there and it was absolutely beautiful. But we're going to let Sadie have a little rock throwing session here. And um, she just likes to throw these little rocks in the pond. She's done it forever. <laughs> she was a bit disappointed that it was too cold to swim. Oh, it was freezing. Absolutely freezing. Everyone that got in there had the look of death on their face there were so many people that were like looked very much braver than me and they were like no i'm not going in yeah so i'm like no, i don't feel bad sadie put a little toe in there and chills went up her spine <laughs> but yeah it's beautiful in here hey it really is and she's done most of the walking yeah she's been amazing yeah she's getting better it's funny that she won't want to walk on like a straightforward flat surface yeah she'll be like i'm done i'm tired Mm. I think she's just bored. Yeah. But the and then when you get to the rocks and all the tricky stuff, she's like rock hopping and jumping, swinging. Just like, yeah. Woohoo! Which is a mad time. Oh, yeah, we're just going to slowly make our way out of here. But just the scenery is well worth it. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm still not. Was it worth sure the corrugation? <laughs> no. I still bloody hate corrugation. <laughs> Yourself? We know. We know. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you dropped your rock. How are we ever going to find another rock? So where the stairs come down, which is here, you go that way for go that way for handrail, and then you if you hook a left, you come along here. What'd you say this one is? We know. We know gorge. So we'll go check that out. It's only a yellow. So slightly less complicated than the blues. Beep. Beep. Sadie's got a game. Press it. Beep. Beep. Come on. Made that up to keep her entertained. Oh, it's broken now. You only got to press it once. Every time she sees a little class sign, she can press it. And we do a little beep for her. Keeps all of us entertained, actually. Fun for the whole family. Lunch stop, hey? Except me and Kat don't have lunch. Oh. <laughs> nah, you have it. You have it, Sadie. Keep your energy up. You said you're running out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Right in the middle of the Weeno? Is it Weeno? Yeah. God, I'm so bad with names. You reckon I'll ever remember anything? I won't even remember this conversation. Weeno Gorge. Weeno Gorge. Beautiful. And um, I think this, this one here is a loop. So we should end up back at the car park. The one that we went to, yeah, fingers crossed. The one that we did before the handrail pool, um, it's like a one-way destination. But I think there's a lot more after that pool that we stopped at. Hey, you sort of swim through that in into the another into the rest of the gorge and then continue on with your walk. But oh, maybe a warmer part of the year would be all right. Yeah, we're like in the middle of winter. But then it's closed as well, like. Off a wet season. Yeah, true. I, don't know. I think it's always going to be cold. It's always going to be cold, but is it that cold? But this is probably the coldest. I'll time. call my sandwich. Anyways, here. it's still um, so still Dad, really nice I to get down get and it. enjoy it. Okay, Dad. Yeah. Some for the ants. Oh, you're leaving a little bit of bread for the ants. Mhm. Mm well done. Well done. I'm sure they will love that. Okay. All right. We'll have a little break and then we'll keep exploring. They go. Go, go. Did it. Did it. Did it. Some grass. Right. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, what? Yeah, that's like hardly even holding onto the cliff anymore. I could just fall off like any minute. Oh, can I stand on this? Sure. Look. Stand Check this out. It's literally just held on like at the very top there. It's got a big... I'm ready to get to the car park now. 
getting hot. Damn, I thought we were like at the top. There's another whole bit to go. I can hear Steve-O making up some story, doing the whole storytelling thing to try and keep Sadie happy. So I think she's over it now, which is fair enough. Because it's actually been a decent walk today and it is getting hot. And I think she's probably being piggybacked right now while he makes up some once upon a time story. But check out the view once you get up here. I'll just remind myself of Kath and Kim. Check out the view. True, pro, such a nice view, pro. Oh my god, so true. Look at this ant held pro. So we ended up doing this here and that's where the handrail pool is there and then we ended up walking all the way around there back to here. Tired? No, I want to go do this one now. My legs are done then. Carrying Sadie for that last bit was like torture. Hey. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. She doesn't look very big, but she's just, uh, just whoa, a, whoa, whoa. Just a chunk of meat, mate. What's this? Solid, eh? She's solid. Whoa, she's solid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's oh. this? You're on a stage. Go on my back. So I really hard. wanted to do. Rub my back. Rub my back. <laughs> Down. <laughs> ah, yeah. I want to go. Okay, let's go. Oh. Yeah. Talk about getting out of trouble easy. <laughs> Nah, I'm just um. I really wanted to do Hancock Gorge while we're here because I don't think we're gonna drive well, that you road again. It. But I'm too buggered. Yeah, here, it's a GoPro. You go do it. Go for a wander. Nah, like it, we did pretty well today considering. Early the next morning. So this morning, huh? it's actually almost afternoon. Yeah, we're into it late today. Joffrey Gorge. I think we're just gonna do lookouts and stuff today. My legs are bloody dead, mate, after yesterday. You gonna do some lookouts today? Yeah! I can see another one. Oh no, it's just going in the grass. She absolutely loves these signs, hey? Yeah. She's addicted. She's a and, sign addict. And maps. Maps, yeah. And anything. Little signs. Hey, I don't know if you guys can see it, but over in the what over on these this? hills here, there's a few buildings dotted around. I'm pretty sure that's the eco say? resort. Hey, what yeah. does this one say? that says no drones allowed, no no daddy's helicopters. Okay. <laughs> hey, I think that's the eco resort. Pretty sure it's out here somewhere. Yeah, you can walk. There's a walking trail from the eco retreat to um, another lookout here, Jeffrey Gorge. Yeah.
Joe's just fueling up with rice cakes for the big 300 meter walk to this lookout. We're at Knox Gorge. I'm, and... I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Knox. <laughs> Have a look at the spelling. Tell me that that's not a K. Hey? Okay? No, I'm just, I'm just yanking your chain. It's pronounced Knox Gorge. So, 300 meters return. Come on, darling. Nice and easy ones. No, we're gonna go for a walk down here. Nice and easy ones today after to. yesterday's efforts. I don't want to. Why not? She just always wants to stay at the sign. We can look at the sign when we come back. You can find me one. Come for a walk at that. I'm a hand, I'm scared. It says, no fun allowed. Say. <laughs> yeah, that grass is actually super bloody spiky. Good walking. Unfortunately, recent stop. Recent heavy rains have caused movement and collapse in the cliffs below this lookout. Well, that ain't very comforting. Well, that sucks. Maybe they should put a sign up saying the lookout isn't a lookout anymore. Mm. There's any reason we came to the lookout was to look out. And now we can't look out. Just have to look in. We have to look in. Oh god, we have to look inside. Well, we're just back at camp. Up in here. Going for a walk with Sadie. We're uh, we're actually leaving here tomorrow. So we've done about as much as we want to do in Karajini. I know it's not as much as a lot of people do in here, but we are a bit restricted with having a child here. And we don't want to put ourselves or her in any danger trying to do stuff that um, we've seen other people doing. So we thought, we thought, We'll um, call it at that for Karajini. It's been really nice in here. And I would recommend coming here. But um, if you do have small children, probably don't expect, like I sort of expected to be able to do a lot of stuff. Um, don't expect to be able to do like everything in and around Karajini, like all the gorge walks and stuff. Some of them are actually pretty tough. So I don't really know what I expected in here, but I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to do more, but also very happy that we've seen as much as we did. So yeah. <laughs>